What's going on everybody? Welcome to the first trail camera review um, of the year here for 2021. I myself went out and got uh, one of the new Tacticam Reveal X's. Brett got two of them here. So we're gonna go ahead and give you a little review and setting this one up at his farm. Our whole lives, Jackson, myself, Rem, we've always ran the traditional cameras. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are anti-camera because they don't like going in they like being surprised you have your people that are obsessed with them uh, we're kind of bordering on the line of obsession we have a lot between the three of us but Rem and I decided to make the investment with the Tacticam uh, Reveal X my brother just bought two a friend of mine just bought two and they're raving about them so I was like you know what it's time to jump on board yes you have the initial cost of the camera yes you have your data plans but the fact now that we can set these cameras with our busy life schedules and can be anywhere at any time getting notifications telling us what our battery percentages are at we can make setting adjustments on the fly you don't have to worry about whether or not your camera's dead and missing an opportunity out of shooter buck or bear whatever you're chasing so this to us is a game changer and i keep saying that word um we're excited about these so this is the the third one we're setting up here uh we set one of his up already set mine up and so we've had a little bit of practice before we got to this last one here so we're going to give you guys kind of an overview of what we went through to set it up um originally the first one we struggled we you know we youtube some stuff googled it went through the manual a couple times but once you get the hang of it um it is a little bit different than a traditional camera uh, as far as setting it up when you open it up there's nothing no switches or anything to do the settings the settings go straight through your phone so you have to download the tacticam reveal app and then uh, once you put the traditional batteries and sd card in it you can go through and it actually has a wi-fi you connect to your phone and that'll get you uh, into the app with it to set up your plan and then once you do that um, you scan a code in there which is specific to your camera so that way on the app you know you know which camera is taking which pictures when you set it up so once you have the camera set up on the app um, you have to set up the, the service to it so it's going to go through and set it up it's kind of itself after you scan the code and then it'll have you turn it off for a little bit turn it back on and then the service will get connected you can see all that on the camera here we'll show you in a little bit when we open it up yeah once you get your camera set up and you actually connect to service so make sure you do have service we both went with the verizon plans seems like verizon as a whole have better coverage whether or not it's you know connected with your you know you have at t whatever you have we just decided to go with the verizon ones for the coverage but yeah once we got it set up there's a lot of things you can do within the system like through your phone through the app um, on the reveal app you actually can connect to the Wi-Fi and actually do like a live view when you're setting up your camera. So when we'll be setting up the camera here in a little bit on my uh, mineral site here at my farm, we can actually see exactly what the picture is going to look like. So that's a really big plus. Another thing you want to look at is when you're in the setup mode, the, it recommends in the manual to send hit the test button. You can actually send a test photo to your app and it will pop up on your app within which camera you have. Yeah, so we're going to talk about the plans that you can have for this camera so once you download the app um, one of the issues that we ran into is when you go to add your first camera it kept saying you don't have a plan so you have to go into your uh, account into your own profile and go back through put in your information your address your phone number and then you actually select what plan there's three plans to select from you got your pro intermediate and basic um, we decided to go with the pro there's a little bit more money but you get almost unlimited pictures what is it 500 no it is unlimited. No, um, uh, yeah so it, unlimited. yeah yep. intermediate's 500 and you know so on and so forth you get what you pay for but you get unlimited pictures you get up to 50 hd pictures uh it just seemed like a better plan for us and then every camera you get there on after is you get a little bit of a discount um with those additional cameras so it is like i said initial cost but it, you know in the long run for a whole year it's really it doesn't you know it doesn't cost that much per month but that was the only issue that we had at first. We had to look up kind of, we were wondering where our plan went, but like, you know, we both went with the pro plan for the yearly subscription. One of the reasons we kind of went with the pro plan is over the summer right now, we're going to set it on a most likely on our mineral sites, our feed sites, stuff like that. So, you know, in a single night you can get 500 pictures. So to pay for the 500 pictures a month, you know, that could fill up in, in one or two nights. So 
we just went with the pro plan that'll give us the most bang for our buck as far as you know the amount of pictures we get now later in the season we'll probably have it on maybe food sources heavy trails by our tree stand stuff like that so we may not reach that 500 pictures a month but just to be safe we we have it if we need it all right so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get it set up here on the tree so we'll open it up i'll show you guys the inside like i said it's not like a traditional camera where it has like the switches and you change the settings it's got more of the cell stuff on it shows you your wi-fi and uh what kind of um service you have so we'll go ahead and do that for you guys here as we get it on the tree so like i said you know the camera's not uh, like a traditional trail camera. It's got the switches. Now it has your on, setup, off switch, um, the test button and the eject for the batteries. But as you get up here, you can kind of see um, right here is your signal status. You have your battery power. That's the internal camera Wi-Fi. You have the, uh, just a status light to show if you have an SD card and if it's working all right. And then your status is for your test pictures. Um, so when you take a test picture, and I'll show you guys here in a second, that'll blink and then it'll get sent to Brett's phone since this is his camera. And once that's sent, it'll be a solid green. So as long as that status is solid green, you know you're good to go. So I turn it to setup mode here. You can see all the lights, uh, all the green lights. Um, so it, right now it's searching for service. You know, we just put batteries in it. It's full. The Wi-Fi is blinking. So once Brett would connect to that, it would go solid blue like right like there you just connected to it yep so that will um that will allow him to change the settings and everything while he's at the camera right now we only have a bar of service uh probably because we're under some trees we'll have to try and change that there like i said the sd card is good and right now the status is a solid green which means we're good to go if we wanted to turn it on but i'm going to go ahead and put a push the test button right here and you'll see the status will start to blink so now it's taking a picture and sending that to his phone. And it takes about 30 seconds to a minute or so to get the test picture. Um, but it's nice to, I mean, you can do it that way to see where your camera's set up. But like we said, it also has the live feed, which is phenomenal to get your setup and make sure you're facing the right way. And yeah, if you guys want to see the camera picture, this is my phone here, sorry, it's a little old. But you can see there's me and the camera and that the camera just took so yeah instant to my phone so now that we got it all tested sends to his phone uh like i said everything's already set up we set it up a while got the stat or got the service full battery and everything like that i'm gonna go ahead and set it on the tree and we'll show you the live feed of how we can see exactly where we're placing it um it's a little bit different some of the new cameras have the little lcd screens that have the live screen um pretty much the same exact thing as that except it's not on the camera, it's straight to your phone. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the strap out and set it on the tree. So we got the camera set up on the tree here. Um, we got the live mode on Brett's phone right now. So we'll go ahead and show you. This is how we originally set it up. So, you know, originally setting it up like this, you know, you may think that looks good, but now with that live feed, you can see exactly where you need to be. So, all right, so Brett said uh, by the feed there, you guys can see it might be a little high for the mineral plot. So. As I'm changing it, he'll be able to see it in live time that what I move and then he'll be able to tell me when it's good. So I like to kind of keep that baseline dead center here, guys. So once he makes the adjustment. So I got my stick here. I'm gonna go ahead and angle it downward just a little bit and uh, he'll tell me when it's good. All right, guys, so I'm gonna watch kind of the baseline. I kind of want it to be like more, like have more of the mineral site in there. So as soon as he goes to move his hand here, You'll be able to see it with me. Perfect. See, guys, I know it's a little little shadow there, but you, all right, there you go. You can see that red line. It gives me the trail that's coming along this wheat field, and there's a little bit of clover in here. Eventually, it's hopefully going to be a late bean field. But yeah, it's getting my whole entire mineral site, and hopefully, won't get too many squirrels. We both we both are excited. Uh, we're going to see where this goes. It's definitely going to be like Brett said, a game changer for us. So. We're gonna get this one turned on and set up and get out of here. All right, guys, so we've let our Tacticam sit out for about two weeks now, and uh, we've been getting pictures every day. Uh, it's been awesome just to get them straight to our phone. Um, pretty good pictures so far, some nice buck, lots of good fawn. I know I've gotten some turkeys, but just what I wanna showcase uh, the photos to you guys is I just wanna show the difference between the photo that you get and a photo when you turn it into HD. 
So just to clear one thing up here in the video that I know Brett had said, um, he said with the pro plan you get 50 HD photos. You actually don't. You have to pay $5 for 50 HD photos for any plan, I believe. Um, so really it's about 10 cents a photo. But the non-HD photos, for the most part, are, are pretty good. It's just like a low megapixel. But the HD photos are definitely much, much better. Um, and those are definitely the ones you're going to want to save when you have a big buck um, or if you're scouting for turkeys, a nice turkey, something like that. But definitely going to want to save that for some more special pictures and not just use that up. So far, we haven't had any issues with our cameras. Um, I know Brett's batteries are getting a little low already, but that's just because he was getting a ton of pictures. And that's what's going to happen when it's over a mineral source right now in the summer. And um, plus we didn't set the delays right so we changed the delays and whatnot and I think it's been helping but other than that there hasn't been any problems it's just been lots of pros I mean it's it's awesome just be able to get pictures straight to your phone um, you know we haven't been into our cameras checking them leaving our scent around um, this time of the year it doesn't really matter too too much but definitely come uh, hunting season it's going to be a game changer that we don't have to get in there and we can still see what's around our properties. So the pictures I got here to compare are of the same buck, uh, the same day here he was with the camera. It was the first buck I had got on camera with my Tacticam and I wanted to try the HD photos out so I tried it out. Um, since then I really haven't had a photo I wanted to save to HD so that's why I'm using these two. So uh, the buck here, not a special buck but um, like I said the first one I got on camera. And by the non-HD photo, you can tell that it's a buck. You can tell it's a smaller buck. Can't really get exactly his points. But as you flip over to the HD photo here, you can see that it is a about a four-pointer right now. Maybe going to be a six later in the season. But um, like I said, decent buck out to his ears. This was early June, so pretty good start for, for his growth. All right, so second photo here. Like I said, it is the same buck. But this time he is walking, so we get to see the camera's capabilities of taking a moving photo. Now it is not a running photo, so we don't get to see the full capabilities. But even with a walking photo, some cameras can get a little bit blurrier. Uh, you miss the antlers, miss the deer in general. So still a good picture without the HD version. You can still tell it's a buck. Maybe not exactly how many points it has, but you can still tell it is a buck. As we flip over the HD photo, we do get a better picture of his antlers. We can tell it's that four pushing to be a six real close. This was early June, so he probably is about a six now. These are the only two HD photos I have so far. I haven't saved any other photos to HD. Now I've saved some photos, but I didn't need them to be HD. I saved some fawn photos, some turkey photos, stuff like that. But until I get that target buck on camera or you know a nice buck, I'm going to save my HD photos for for something like that for now. But like I said, overall, we're extremely happy with these cameras. We have nothing to complain about them. We're excited to keep using them throughout the season and see how they help us this year. They're definitely gonna be a big tool for us to use in patterning our deer, um, getting to know where they're coming, where they're going, when they're feeding, you know, when they're traveling. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage and definitely uh, put some deer on the ground. We do have a lot of other trout camera reviews in the process, um, just like this one here. So if you did like it, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the other ones.